Today's math strategy video is multiplication and division in word problems. So let's look at our first word problem. This one is a multiplication word problem. And so what we're first going to do is we're going to read the problem and then we're going to do some look fors. And that means some ways that we know what operation we are supposed to be performing. So even though we know this one's multiplication, we're going to do some look fors on those key words or phrases. So our, our um, example problem says there are nine school buses in the parking lot. There are six times as many cars as school buses in the parking lot. How many cars are in the parking lot? Okay, so right here, I know that there are nine school buses. Then it says there are six times as many cars. So six times as many cars as school buses. And then it says there are blank cars in the parking lot. So we want to know how many cars here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a strategy that we saw in our last video it is using a bar diagram. So right here, this is going to represent the school buses. And then underneath, I am going to draw six more boxes because it said that there were six times as many cars. So there are nine in each of these because I've got nine school buses and then six times as many as that. So nine in each of these. So these are our cars. So this models a multiplication problem, and this problem is nine times six. So if you're not sure about nine, your nines and sixes yet, it, that's totally okay. So what I'm gonna do down here is I'm gonna show you two different ways that I can figure out this problem. The first thing is you can just add up nine six times. But I bet that you do know some of your facts. So for example, you might know that two times nine is 18. And I've got two groups of nine here, another group and another group. So that's another group of 18 plus another group of 18. And I know that three 18s added together will give me 54. Now, if that's a lot of adding for you, think about some facts that you might already know. Well, I know that five times nine is 45. I know my five facts. So since I know those, I can come over here and say 45 plus one more set of nine. And that is gonna give me 54. So I know that nine times six is 54. So there are 50 four cars in the parking lot. Let's look at another example problem. Now, this one is a division word problem, but we're gonna go through that same process. We're gonna read our problem, and then we're gonna um, do those look fors and see what are some keywords or phrases that let us know that we are dividing. So this problem says the Tigers scored 36 points. They scored four times as many points as the Lions. How many points did the Lions score? Now this one's tricky. It says the Tigers scored 36 points. They scored four times. So they is actually the Tigers. So it says that the Tigers scored four times as many points as the Lions. So we don't know what the Lions scored, but I do know that the Tigers scored 36 points and that was four times as many points as the Lions. So I know that this is a division problem and I have 36 divided by four. Now, you can go through some of your force facts, but I kind of think about like four, if I can write this, four times what equals 36? Or 36 divided by four is what? So you can use your multiplication facts to help you solve this. So if I took this and I divided it, by four, I know that I'm going to have nine in each of these. 
because I know four times nine is 36. So 36 divided by four is nine. That means that how this bar model works is that this has to be nine. The Lions had to have scored nine points in order for them to be, in order for the Tigers to have scored 36 because four sets of nine will get me 36. That is the end of today's math strategy video.